In the previous video of this series, I showed you how to create a custom theme for RAD form. In doing so, we successfully themed the form of the Edit Appointment dialog. However, we still need to work on theming the controls contained within the Edit Appointment dialog. In this video, we'll begin doing that by creating a theme for RAD text box. Let's get started. So as you can see, here is the test application that we created last time that contains our smoke theme. And I just want to show you real quick, if I right click and select new appointment, here is the RAD form that we created last time. But as you can see, all of the controls contained within it are still using that control default theme, which is that kind of blue theme. And the first control that we're going to theme inside of this dialog is going to be the RAD text box. And that's going to be this right here, the subject, the location, and uh, the description. So let's go ahead and begin doing that. So I'm going to click cancel and let's close out of this application. And I'm going to switch over to Visual Style Builder. And let's go ahead and show my colors text file as well. So I'm going to open up our theme. So I'll go to File, Open Package. I'm going to open up the Smoke theme. Just going to take a couple seconds to load it up. And now I'm going to scroll down to the RAD text box. So here is the RAD text box control. As you can see, it's a pretty simple control. It contains its top level element and then one sub level element. So the first thing we're going to need to change is going to be the background color. Currently, the background color is white. And let's change it to a darker shade of gray to fit in with our theme. So I'm going to switch to the text box fill primitive. And we'll leave it on the default element state. And as you can see, only one repository is applied, and that is the editor fill repository. So this is the one we're going to change. So I'll go ahead and jump into this repository item. And I'm going to paste in uh, one of my fill colors. So I'll just copy that from my text file, paste it into this. And as you can see, that's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to make that a little bit lighter shade of gray. And I'll click OK. And I'm going to copy this. And let's paste it into my text file. So we'll just call this the text box fill. And now I'll click OK. And as you can see, uh, it's actually applied this repository to our text box, but it's only applied it to kind of this outer area. The inner area still remains a white color. So in order to change that, I'm actually going to have to jump in here to the rad text box element and expand into it. And as you can see, it has a back color property that's being set locally. And you can tell that it's being set locally by this box here with the black outline. And I've explained this in the previous videos, but I'll go ahead and explain it to you again. Uh, if there is a box with a black outline next to any particular property, that means that that property is being applied locally. And if we look at this one down here, as you can see, there's a similar box, but it does not have a black outline. And that just means that this property is being applied via a repository item. And if we look over here to our repositories that are being applied, as you can see, there's a black text repository. And that's probably what is applying this four color property. So since our back color is being applied locally, we'll need to go ahead and change it here. So I'm going to copy our text box fill color, and let's paste it in here. And as you can see, our text box is now fully gray. Now, one thing you'll notice about rad text box, now that it has that gray color, is if I hover my mouse cursor over it, it turns back to a white color. Well, that's actually because there is a mouse over state for the text box. So I'm going to switch over to the contains mouse element state. And let's go ahead and change the color that gets applied there. As you can see, it's currently white. And we're going to need to change it to our gray background color here as well. So now when I hover over the text box, it stays that gray color. But also, we need to take a look at what happens when I click into the text box. As you can see, now that my mouse cursor, or now that my cursor is blinking inside of the text box, the background color has again changed to white. So we're going to need to fix this as well. And that's going to be through the contained focus element state. So as you can see, the back color again changed back to white once I selected that element state. So I'm going to paste in our new color here as well. And now, as you can see, when I hover over and click into the text box, it stays to the gray color that we wanted. So now that our background color has been successfully applied throughout rad text box, we also need to make sure to change the outline color. And as you can see, the outline is currently kind of a blue color. So I'm going to 
uh, close the text box element and let's expand into the text box border. And as you can see, it's currently it has a editor border repository applied. And this this repository is actually applied to I think all of the almost all of the different element states for the border. So I'm going to expand into it and let's change the color of this border to be black. So I'll select that and click OK and OK again and here is our text box and it's pretty much ready to go. One of the last things we'll need to make sure to change is if there is a disabled state. So as you can see there's a disabled state for our border and it currently sets the border to kind of a gray color if it's disabled. So we'll need to change that to something else if we want uh, a different effect to happen when it's disabled. And also if I switch over to text box fill and leave it on disabled, as you can see there is a disabled background repository for that as well. So that's something that you'll need to change if you want to add that functionality to your text box. So I'm going to go ahead and change a few more things in the repositories for the text box and then we'll come back and we'll actually try this text box in our test application. So I've completed the theme for Rad text box, so I'm going to make sure to save this out to my theme package. And now that we've done that, we can test it in our application. So here is the application that we've been using throughout these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and dock this to the right. And let's go and browse to my uh, theme package. And as you can see, this project already contains a theme package, but this is the old one. So I'm going to replace it with the new one that contains our red text box theme. So I'm going to drag this into the project and I'll go ahead and replace the theme that's already there. And let's select this once again and make sure that it's still getting built as an embedded resource, and it is. So uh, one more thing I want to show you is if I jump into the code behind for this, I already have the code set up that loads my package resource file, and then it also takes that theme once it's been loaded and applies it to the RAD scheduler. So now that we've set this up, I'll go ahead and run the application. And here is our RAD scheduler once again, and it contains our theme that we've been working on. And I'm going to select an area of it, and I'll go to New Appointment. And as you can see, here is our RAD form that we themed in the last video, but now our text boxes contain a theme as well, so they fit in better with our RAD form. In the next video, we'll take a look at how we can theme some of these drop-down controls contained within the Edit Appointment dialog. I look forward to seeing you then, and thanks for watching.